Hello and welcome to you know, let's play. Me, he moves six of which are three they won't hunt. I'm here for whores. What do you want? And last let's play we hunt for hunted the pro horse and junior. Also there's a foglet. I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill old god and Vic. Uh, you may show understanding. Must be a misunderstanding. Flank the bastard! Sorry, that was a misunderstanding. Probably should oil my sword. Okay. One sec. Ooh. I don't plow in anyone. This isn't corruption champions. Ow, patch. Really? Hardest difficulty. Oh, thanks for hitting that guy. I always love it when the enemy misses and hits their own men. Ooh, a dumpling. I always find it funny and a little unrealistic when you go through a game like this and... Not your lucky day. That was weird. I mean, that is also unrealistic. Um, and you kill, like, 50... Or 50%, 60, 70% of dudes, and the remaining, you know, rest are just like, Um, we're gonna continue fighting against you. There's something up there. I don't know how he did that since it's in a glass thing, but what are you gonna do? Goat milk. Pop smold antidote. All right. Fucking degenerate. Wow. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with that. Christ. I think this goes a bit beyond sadism. He kind of also looks like that one guy from the movie. Sin City. The guy that's all yellow. Molests kids and kills them. No tits. Help me for fuck's sake! No one's coming. Stop! 
Now, they say if you let him live, he's a broken man and all that stuff. But, you know. <laughs> My textures! What do you want? Hello, Junior. I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. For a gang leader, he's surprisingly weak. I mean, yeah, you can have gang leaders that are more charisma and intelligence and all that stuff. But he seems to be very... He would look like somebody who could fight. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking... Oh. Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Want to know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. I'm also hangry as well. Some tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I only sustained myself I out of like water. One more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then, then I'd do something I would later regret. Which now is not you killing know you. Why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We've made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? The girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. Is it the box or I is it in the box? Guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Doo Doo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Cheer up. We can manage this, I'm certain. Famous last words right there. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And... I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. If only we had a ladder or something. Uh, oh, that was easy. On the top floor. One with the balcony. You think they'd have a guard here There's or something? Let's see what's inside. Oh, window. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior. Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. 
I've been waiting for you. It looks like her ba tits bounced just there. Oop. Yeah, okay. Okay. I got you, you little whore. Where's Ruvin's treasure? I got you, Can I parry? you little whore. Where's Ruvin's treasure? On your knees, bitch. Oh, he died. It's time paradox. An eye for an eye. They're coming. Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. Let me guess, that's Dudu. Yep. That's it, you're in. Okay. Keep it together, legs. Go with it. Grab the cut. Hi, bitch. Can I loot some things here? I can't just go out the window. Don't I have those powers? Oh, one sec. Ouch. Okay. That's what happened. Tell you true. Dudu, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back. But she's alive, I swear it. Oh, several actually got her in the back. Got anything else to say? In the front. I told you all I know. Damn it, now I'm just that. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Nope. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Why, what's, th why am I throbbing? Can I stop throbbing? Okay, there we go. Can you go to the front door? Ah, it became nighttime. It's 
Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. Okay. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. The ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. Honor in the fatherland. I love chess. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? <sighs> You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Who is that? Using magic, you'd be better off sending mages after her. I agreed to the Conclave's revival, but what has this brought me? The mages at my side are mediocrities, cowards. They couldn't hold a candle to the likes of Eilhart, Loantiel, or Merigold. There's always your witch hunt. Boy, look at those low poly ships best. in the background. You've proven it clearly. Sheila de Tanzerville and Philippa Eilhart's plan. You were the one to foil it. I want you to finish what you started. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. Hopefully they didn't agree to that by being like, oh, why not mages? What is up with that ship back there? Arms. Oh yeah, thanks. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Doesn't seem like the worst guy. Emphasis on doesn't and seem and the worst guy. Oh, I'd already put that there. But I do want to... Arch a stone. Okay. Wait, get Junior still there. Okay, go down the road. I probably shouldn't have done this Let's Play with my shirt on. I did quite a bit of exercising and that always increases my... Um, The thing that you that heats up your body when you do stuff. And, you know, burns fat. Okay, let's see what's going on to y'all. I 
I believe I shall stop coming. What shall I whip up for supper? Ah, oh. even with the war, ah. they still manage to procure. Lay me down with barrel of beer. Geralt! Listen, I tracked down Horson Jr. Yes? And? Did you know? Yeah. yeah. Siri and Dandelion set out to steal Siggy Reuven's treasure for Horson. He promised to find someone who'd fix Ciri's phylactery in exchange. I cannot believe she parleyed with the bastard. Why, it's widely known how anybody who packs with Riley ends. Ciri was desperate, but you're right. It wasn't the best idea. Orson ended up wounding Ciri just after he tortured Dudu. Dudu? Well, how is Dudu related to this in any way? Seems Dandelion got him involved, to help Siri. Luckily, Dudu managed to escape, probably hiding somewhere now. Huh. What of Wily? He's dead. Okay, boy. Take care now. You got time. What's going on? Word is that a big tournament. Thing I piss me trousers. I don't know why in video games kind of like this and other stuff, I always do that thing where I'm like, oh I don't want to spend time in game unless I'm doing something. Like you don't want to press T and meditate for several hours, you know? I have like if given the choice of fast traveling to one place going to oops, let's fast travel back or loading, I always load. I don't know why. Damn it. I thought T was for time. Whatever. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Uh, sure about this? Here and now? Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the violent Public bondage is kind of my they thing. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will, and in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine, let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I wanna thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. I think you might call it a bit early, since... You know, Geralt, stuff. remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? 
The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. I mean, we might just extend this let's play. It's fine, I guess. I don't think this is too long anyways. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches? They murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! None of us are actually touching you. no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Don't talk to her that way. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. I find it interesting that there, none of them comment that she looks completely fine besides the shackles. No cuts, bruises, not even a hair out of place. Why, no pushing. Up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. What happens if I say no torturing? At least not yet. Let's click that. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you Madam? worry. Menger will give you your coin, and Marigold will get what she deserves. That's where I fucked up. Don't start touching her without me. Do what you want. The first Come time on, I played this. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised.
I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This Witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can claim that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Yeah, do I want? Yeah, not in the mood. Not in the mood. You've two choices, Witcher. Drink or die. <laughs> okay. Christ. Sidarian. A 1261 vintage. Year of the Massacre of Sintra. <laughs> Stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Got a silver sword on my back. That not enough. I'm surprised they didn't it take away my weapons. Doppler's can change their bodies at will into materials that look and feel like silver as well. Materials that have none of silver's useful properties naturally. Huh. See, you're an expert on Doppler's. I'd expect a witcher of all things to understand the value of knowing one's enemy. This little piggy had roast beef. I wish not do so many of the side stuff. Now, let us talk shop. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. No, no more. <laughs> Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee. Go! Oh, bitch bit me! Oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So... It's amazing how they just pause through all that. Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? I'm looking for a treasure with Siggy Ruvens until recently. Well, well. Furthering the cause of the eternal fire on the one end, working for criminals on the other. I work for whoever pays me. Like a whore? More or less. Just offer a different range of services. Where's the treasure? Secure in a Kaviri bank. Far and safe from you. Far and safe from Ruvin. Got information about Philippa. Thought you might want to buy it. I do, but not at any price. 
All right. So free Dandelion. <laughs> First you ask about a criminal's treasure. Now you want me to let loose a blaspheming degenerate. And here I had you for a man that is a being of some moral principle. No doubt we're cut from different cloth, but we don't have to agree on everything to make a deal. We need not agree any terms either. I could simply force you to tell me what you know about Philippa. Doubt that. I really doubt that. Whereas I'm a man of great faith. Guards! In here! Okay. Nerve. Okay. Hopefully, you got the shit. Oh, hey. Okay, I think I'll deal with these guys. Christ. You done yet? Okay, I guess just wait to do the thing and then do that. Okay, now for you guys. Good thing I was away from that. Let me collect all their shit. Oh, that's fire. Fire helps us play. No, wait, that's iron. Iron helps us play. Why are there two bad guys outside the thing?
Really? I was gonna take his shit. I think that's all of them. That was close. Sorry about your uh, fingers. What happened? I thought Menga took the bait. He did, until I asked about the treasure. Geralt, we talked this over. You agreed. Uh, fine. Never mind. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. What did I promise? Well? Hopefully I didn't fuck up. Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something's sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Hey, yes, about Maybe the thing. is half full. Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. So I'm gonna save it here and call it. So anyways, comment, cause like, comments. I'm gonna look stuff up. Tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks. Otherwise, if you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and share other videos up it grow. And please remember to spay and new animals help control the pet population. Let me look at what I fucked up with. And until next time, we'll say me, a move six of Witcher Three: The Wild Hunt. See ya.